United fielded the strong side as they travelled to Edgeley Park to take on Stockport County. In Ricky Spradger and Brian McClare's team was Cleverson. The Brazilian World Cup winner was making his Pontins League debut in a bid to get fit and was making his first appearance since recovering from an ankle injury. The two coaches also had the luxury of fielding the likes of Gerard Piquet and David Jones, both of whom have first team experience. And if that wasn't enough, they could choose from Jonathan Spector, Giuseppe Rossi and David Bellion on the bench to come on if a win looked uncertain. A bumper crowd turned up to see United stars, but it was Stockport who had the first chance of the game. Adam Lafondre, a potential United target according to Stockport's website, getting the cross in, and Tom Heaton in the Reds' goal had to tip over. If Lafondre is in United's plans, and he wasn't wasting any time in impressing the visitors, his shot was blocked and Paul Douglas failed to follow up. But United rode the early pressure and soon came into their own. David Jones tried his luck from the Edgeley area, but his shot was saved by the Stockport goalie Lee Cutler. Next up, captain of the day Colin Heath turned and shot, but his effort deflected just wide. Another United move again involved Jones, who found David Paul, but again his shot failed to break the deadlock. Next up, Phil Pickin picked out Cleberson, but there was no power on his header. I guess we can't expect too much Brazilian magic in his first game back. With frustration starting to show, tensions were high. Heath, for one, was starting to lose his patience. United had a penalty shout soon after when Paul was brought down in the box, but the referee waved to play on. The last chance of the half again fell to David Paul, but the United striker's volley was well saved. In the second half, Cleberson was replaced by David Bellion and it only took the Frenchman three minutes to find the back of the net. His free kick giving United the lead. It could have been two, two minutes later, but Marcus Neumeyer wasted a glorious chance to double the Reds' advantage after the keeper couldn't hold on to David Jones' shot. But the German wasn't the only sinner. David Poole obviously didn't have his shooting boots on. He tried to round the keeper and the defender, but by the time he's got his shot away, there were plenty back to put him off. To make things worse, Stockport then equalised. Former Everton striker Stuart Barlow levelling when he got onto an Adam Lafondre cross. This sprung United into action. David Jones again testing the keeper. Jones was taken off soon after and replaced by David Fox, who wasted two chances to make an immediate impact. United were foiled again on the hour mark. David Paul, seeing his shot, tipped onto the bar. But with seven minutes remaining in the match, the main talking points were still to come. Colin Heath picked up a card for this challenge, and three minutes later, he received his marching orders in the 89th minute, giving Stockport a one-man advantage. It didn't take long for the home side to punish United further. In the last minute of full time, Lafondre, who set up Stockport's first goal, turned from provider to scorer. Only the reserve's second defeat in the Pontins League, a bitter pill to swallow for United's second string.